Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and well, welcome to this virtual online session. And uh, in this talk, um, we'll be presented by Luca and uh, Yuki, who are from Wikimedia and uh, R. Uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Yuki Gu. I am uh, the Laro Azani and uh, work on R. I am the committer and the PMC member of Apache Big Talk. In R, I'm mainly uh, focus on uh, enable and optimize the data science stacks on ARM64. In this session, uh, firstly, I'd like to provide the overview of the Big Talk. Then we'll introduce the, the new features and uh, implementation and uh, the recent uh, upgrade into some basic usage from the user's point of view. And then uh, Luca will give a brief introduction of the work done with upstream to support the user media, uh, Wikimedia's uh, use case for BigTop. First of all, uh, what is the BigTop? BigTop is the Apache project for infrastructure engineers and data scientists who are looking for packaging, uh, testing, and uh, configuration of open source big data components. And, uh, you know, uh, BigTop will uh, can package the Hadoop systems to RPM and the Debian artifacts and uh, Pictop uh, support over 25 and uh, how to make system components. Maybe you were asked, uh, what do people use Pictop for? You can uh, download Pictop uh, to build Hadoop from website and uh, you can have a running to do a distributed uh, um, Apache Hadoop cluster to test your code. Uh, you can also run the Apache Pictop smoke test uh, to ensure that your cluster is working. And uh, this is the uh, uh, Pictop future snapshot, okay? Uh, for package, the Pictop packages, you know, the, the Hadoop to uh, RPMs and uh, Debian's uh, to artifacts so that uh, you can manage and maintain and deploy them to your uh, own cluster. And uh, for virtualization, the top provides the vagrant recipes and uh, uh, raw images and the uh, Docker recipes uh, for deploying the Hadoop from zero. And the user can create a local cluster on uh, virtual machines, virtual machines or uh, Containers by uh, using BigTop. And uh, for deployment, uh, BigTop also support automatically uh, deploy uh, components using Puppet manifests provided by uh, BigTop. At last uh, but not least important is the uh, testing. Uh, testing is the important. And BigTop provides the integrated the smoke testing um, framework alongside a suite of over uh, 55 test files for users. And uh, this is the status of our BigTop release for AX64. And we started to uh, add AX64 um, support to BigTop since. Uh, 2018, and uh, in March 2018, uh, RMCI nodes uh, were added to the big top with the 2.2 or 1.2 release. And in November 2018, ARM um, was uh, officially added to big top support matrix with 1.3 release. It made ARM um, officially the first class citizen with the full ARM64 support uh, from the most uh, advanced uh, big data state to, to date. Okay, in April 2019, ARM um, um, smoke test CI matrix goes online uh, in 1.4 release. 
And uh, for this new 1.5 release, uh, we implement some new features uh, like defining a new BigTop impact, also adding the ELK to BigTop and upgrading some core components. It helps to support the effective use of the Hadoop ecosystems on our cluster. And um, let me give a brief introduction to the new features in 1.5 release. First of all is the unpack. Unpack is, means uh, measurement packages. It defines a set of services and the repos where to obtain the software packages for those services. Unpack um, could be released as a separate artifacts for users. It is convenient uh, for users to select different kinds of MPAC in their cluster, which also includes uh, different software services. In this case, uh, we define the BigTop MPAC for AR64 service, service, and it includes some uh, fundamental elements like HDFS, Young, Zookeeper, and uh, map reduce. Um, it's the use case of the, our big top and pack to deploy big data software stake by uh, Mbari. Okay, Mbari can manage uh, complex and uh, large distributed systems of the Hadoop by simply access the web UI. We can um, users can um, access the, this web UI to deploy the Hadoop related projects. And Ambari Web interact with the Ambari server by uh, RESTful API, and the Ambari server orchestrates the services on Ambari agents. And, and this, uh, the services come uh, from the software stack, and which defines in our, you know, the big top unpack, as this picture show. You know, and the users can uh, deploy the the services they want from the unpack to their environment agent. Okay, and uh, it's the uh, unpack use case. And the next is in this uh, 1.5 release, we also add some new distributed support to Big Top, uh, like Debian Time, Ubuntu 18, Fedora 31, uh, CentOS 8, and all components are successfully deployed on these distros for AF64. And we also add Elasticsearch, um, Logstash, and uh, Kibana is to, you know, the ELK stack uh, to the big top. And uh, some core, you know, the components were also upgraded, you know, like the Hadoop, Spark, HBase, High, Kafka, and Cycling. And there are over uh, about 19, you know, bug uh, fixes and uh, 24 improvements and uh, five new features implementation uh, in this new uh, release. And uh, you can, uh, if you want to know more details, you can uh, visit our official website. Okay. And uh, okay, so that's all for the part of my about what's the, the talk and it's the new features. The next. Let's welcome the Luca, who is from Wikimedia, to share his work achievements with us. Thank you. Thanks, Yuki, and hi, everybody. My name is Luca, and I work as an SRE for the Wikimedia Foundation. And today I'm here to give you an introduction about why we migrated to Apache Big Top. Before starting, uh, so a few notes about Wikimedia. Uh, we are a non-profit US-based foundation uh, that supports a wide variety of wiki-based projects and the most famous one being uh, uh, Wikipedia. Uh, our mission is to provide the infrastructure and software stacks uh, to people that want to add content um, to these projects, for example, say adding uh, wiki pages to Wikipedia, uh, modifying them or similar, uh, and uh, also um, serve the content to uh, anybody on the internet 
uh, for free without running any ads. Uh, our um, main sustainment are donations from small to big donors throughout the year. Uh, we don't run on cloud providers, uh, we run on our own hardware and we try to uh, strive as much as, much as possible for um, strict user privacy uh, that includes also uh, trying to retain as few data as possible about whoever visits uh, our, web, our websites. More specifically, I am part of the analytics engineering team and our mission is, as written into the slide, empower and support data-informed decision-making across the foundation and the community. Uh, more practically, this means uh, running the infrastructure that ingests all the data related to, uh, that comes from our um, wiki projects. And an example could be the HTTP visits uh, to all our websites are um, encoded into um, JSON, ingested, uh, stored, and then processed into um, for the creation of, for example, data sets or to allow people to, to query the data and to explore it. The data that we provide is used from um, people within the foundation um, or also to, it is also published for people outside the foundation. An example could be um, I'm based in Italy and in Italy there is a specific Wikimedia chapter that is related to uh, more the Italian uh, ecosystem ecosystems about uh, uh, Italian Wikipedia, uh, etc, etc. And uh, they may want to have specific information about how uh, projects like Italian Wikipedia are going, how many editors. Um, so all the analytics data that uh, usually people want and are interested in, uh, we try to provide it to uh, within and uh, outside the foundation. I put some links in here if you're interested. Um, if you want to reach out to my team, feel free to, uh, to check the first link. Uh, we have all the information related uh, about what we manage and what, we are, uh, what I'm going to discuss in a, in a bit. Um, and also there are informations about how to reach us if you have questions. There are other two links that are really important related to our privacy policy uh, that is um, that is basically enforced uh, not only in our team but globally at the foundation and more specifically data retention guidelines uh, that we enforce as a consequence of that. Um, as, as previously said, we try to uh, keep as few data as possible about our users and if, if we have to, we try to sanitize the data to avoid storing uh, privacy sensitive information as much as possible. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, we have terabytes of data that are flowing in every day and constantly every hour. Uh, we ingest, uh, or for example, all the HTTP visits and all the data that comes from the wiki projects uh, via Kafka. Uh, and then from Kafka, it goes into Hadoop's HDFS, that is the distributed file system. And in this case, uh, uh, it is the left side of the picture. Um, so data comes into Kafka and then Goblin and Camus are two tools that read from Kafka and they are able to store on uh, the distributed file system regularly. Then on the top you can see that we have um, scheduling tools. Uh, those are Apache Airflow and Uzi and we, we use them to basically process as data comes in, uh, um, process the data as it comes in. Uh, creating uh, um, derived data sets that we are later on um, offering to, uh, to various users. Um, on the bottom, you can see that we have the querying layer composed by Hive, Spark, and Presto. Those are like an, an, a little example about the tools that we offer to explore the data um, via, for example, command line on the cluster and then on the right hand side you can see uh, Cassandra and Druid uh, those are um, examples of what we call the serving layer uh, so data sets that are created from our uh, scheduling tools are pushed to these systems and uh, the data is then offered via 
uh, APIs uh, in the Cassandra case to the public internet uh, via an API called uh, Analytics Query Service or AQS. In the case of Druid, it is more uh, related to internal use cases, so data exploration tools like Superset, Apache Superset, uh, Allegro Tornillo, and also Cloudera Hue. Uh, all the infrastructure runs on 130 hosts, uh, all on Debian, x86 uh, Intel based. Uh, as previously said, we don't run on cloud providers, but we have our bare metal hardware um, in various little data centers across the, the globe. The uh, capabilities of the Hadoop distributed file system in our case are around uh, three petabytes. Um, so it is not a huge amount, but it is also uh, a good size. Um, and yeah, the challenge is uh, we ingest a lot of terabytes daily, so we have to process them and Hadoop is really central to our ecosystem. So we need uh, uh, to keep it updated as much as possible and we, we want to have less problem, as few problems as possible with it. Um, as you can see from the list that I put in here of commits, uh, we were using uh, Cloudera CDH, CDH as a distribution of our packages. We were lagging behind the major tools. For example, we were using uh, uh, up to some months ago Hadoop 2.6.0. This is very old uh, and a lot of tools are starting to require more up-to-date versions of Hadoop. We, uh, we tried uh, to upgrade to CDH6 in the past, but uh, we discovered that they dropped the uh, Debian support, that is the OS that we use on the majority of our hosts. Uh, so we tried to look for alternatives um, and eventually we discovered BigTop. Um, one of the things that we were trying to, to look into an alternative was a way to participate to more directly to the community, uh, to the upstream community, uh, and uh, to have a way to influence the um, the directions uh, of the project uh, um, actively. Uh, just to be clear, Cloudera served us really well over the years. Uh, this was more a desire for a more uh, openness and, uh, and community. We eventually chose BigTop. We are really happy about it. Uh, I'm going to introduce a little bit why the major motivations. The first one is the fact that uh, BigTop provides Hadoop packages. Uh, both, and this is what I'm trying, what I tried to depict into this picture, um, both from the uh, release point of view. So every now and then, the project uh, releases uh, Debian packages uh, for a certain version of the distribution, but also um, Docker images, and this is the right hand side of the picture, uh, with all the tools uh, needed to. Um, rebuild those Debian packages if needed. For example, let's say somebody wants to add a custom patch, uh, wants to test uh, different things. Uh, there is a security patch that was not included in the release when it was uh, um, at the time that uh, it went out. And so uh, you want a quick way to, to patch the dev before the distribution has the time to, to catch up all these use cases. So it is really good to have a way to have uh, to override the default packages if needed. The, um, the other motivation is um, the mantra. So Big Top being an Apache project follows the community over code mantra. And this is um, to avoid privileging code development over the health of the community. We were looking for uh, a way to interact more with the project. And as you can see from the email list, email list there is uh, a wide variety of ways uh, to participate to the project, sending patches or asking questions, getting feedback from the community. And we used uh, um, this peculiarity of Big Top a lot while we were trying to come up with an upgrade plan and why we, while we were also testing the packages, finding problems and trying to, um, to solve them. So we ended up deploying uh, the last version of VicTop, that is 1.5 in February and the deployment was successful. It 
it was uh, uh, it there were some surprises um, when that that didn't came up from the, uh, the 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 extensive tests that we ran over the past months uh, in a separate uh, testing environment. Um, so what we what we are trying to do is to come up with uh, a good documentation for the big top community to avoid other people to get to get to get into the same troubles and to have smoother uh, upgrades uh, if needed. Uh, we also have been contributing to to big top with some patches uh, and um, and we hope to to have a series of blog posts shared between Wikimedia and Apache big top related to the technical details uh, of the of the upgrade that I didn't have time to uh, to show you today uh, in case you have questions or you want to follow up, you want more details, feel free to send me an email and I will be happy to provide you all the details uh, or hopefully wait for the, um, the blog posts. Uh, thanks a lot for your attention um, and I think now it is time for questions.